Hello YouTubers, this is Jeremy from Survival Showcase and tonight I'm doing my first impressions on the Tactical Blade Medic Pocket Sharpener Kit. Yes, that is correct. Lansky is claiming that this guy here is a whole kit that you can take to the field and sharpen a blade with. Uh, we're going to put that to the test later. Uh, right now this is just first impressions so we'll, we'll leave it at that. Uh, but that's what they are claiming is that this is, is a whole field kit and why they're saying that is because it has a tungsten carbide section, it has a ceramic section, and then it has a serrated cer ceramic section up here for doing your serrated blades, and it also has a tapered diamond rod for doing uh, serrations as well as you can just take your blade and guide it across that and get a quick sharpening just a quick fix in the field so it's black and i guess that's why they're calling it tactical um it also sports a uh, a lanyard loop right up here at the top uh, this tapered rod is held in place by magnets so there's a magnet back here and then there's a magnet up at the front there you see right in the middle and then that's what keeps that in there from falling out. It is a good convenient size. It will fit into your pack quite nicely or into a pocket. Um, I don't know if, if if this makes sense for an everyday carrier or anything like that. It's uh, Yeah, some people probably will. I, I, I won't be carrying it every day on me. It's not too often that I find myself with a, uh, a dull blade out in the field. But I guess, you know, something could happen. You could hit uh, a large piece of metal with your blade and then you need to sharpen it up or whatever, right? Somebody else, you lend your blade out, they do something to it, and then they hand it back to you. Oh, sorry, here's your blade back. And you see a big ding in it. This is where this would come in handy. Um, a whole field kit. Yeah, I, I see where they're coming from. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, these... These, the carbide and the ceramic rods are set at 22 and a half degrees and that will give you a 45 degree angle on your blade. Both sides will equal 45 degrees for you. So that's what they're set at. Uh, you can take a blade and you can uh, push it across like this. Across this. So you can do a standard blade that way with it. Uh, and you can take a serrated blade and just push down through if this had serrations on it you could just bring it straight down the serrations like that and just use a sweeping motion that'll work and then this uh, diamond one they, they, they specifically say that they don't want you to use this all the time it's just for quick fixes so I'm not sure why maybe it removes a lot of material I don't know I, don't, I haven't used any of the diamond stuff yet so I'll be finding that out as well, but yeah, you can just you can use it like that. And then the carbide one, it's basically it's it's for any kind of like if you have a really dull dull blade, you pull it through there, you know, a good few times, and then you just take it over here and you do about three swipes and that should get you back into the game. You should have enough of an edge on there that you can cut some cardboard or whatever you got to cut with it. It's a very durable material. Uh, when I first got it, I, I wasn't too sure about this. I thought maybe there was a screw loose or something because this ceramic piece here, it is loose and it moves around. I don't know exactly the reason for that. Um, I did tighten up these screws that you see on here and uh, they didn't really need it they were tight so that wasn't the problem uh, i know that the the ceramic rods that are in there they move around a little bit too the carbide they're they're straight flat so they, they're not going to move on you they're in there uh the the rod it's it's pretty secure there's a little bit of play to it and that's just because it's just a pin that goes through this uh, material here and the whole body of it is is a metal so cast metal I would say and then it's just fitted together just two screws here and here that hold it all together so yeah that's uh, that's the first impressions of the Lansky Tactical Blade Medic 
I'm going to be testing it out and I will do a full review on it at a later date. Uh, first impressions, looks neat. I would throw it into a, a day pack or something like that. Uh, some people will want to EDC it. Uh, it's, I won't be EDCing this. Uh, I just, I'm not into that. I don't want 20 different things in my pockets. I like a blade, a pen, and my iPhone usually is what I EDC. So that won't be going in my in my EDC. It'll just be a, it'll be another thing for a different pack. I plan on getting a uh, some type of shoulder shoulder pack at some point. So to go along with the instead of using my full-on Falcon 2 all the time for everything, I'd like to get another shoulder pack. I had the Maxpedition one that that would have fit perfectly into. Maybe I'll get something along that lines. I might I might try something different than Maxpedition though for for the shoulder pack just to break it up a little bit. There's a lot of good stuff out there. A lot of good fun stuff. All right. Thanks a lot, and Survival Showcase out. If you like the video, subscribe. Thanks a lot.